Hello everyone, welcome to the short webinar series on post-tension pre-stress concrete bridge design as per Eurocode using Midas Civil. My name is Nivita Kumar, I'm a technical support engineer and today is the last day for our short webinar series. So uh, I'm really glad that you all are here today for our uh, training session and uh, let me tell about what all we had covered in the last two days. So uh, day before yesterday, that was our session one, where we completed the modeling and uh, modeling of two-span PSE composite bridge. We saw how to use node elements to model the bridge, and we also saw how to use a wizard to create the entire bridge along with the loads and the uh, construction stages. On the next day, that is on the 28th yesterday, uh, we completed the application of loads, static loads, as well as dynamic loads, and also saw how to, or what all boundary conditions along with the bearings are applicable for a PSC girder bridge. We discussed about the soil structure interaction in brief too. Today, we are going to start with the last session where we are going to see the analysis results, how to extract them, and how to generate high quality design reports. We will look into uh, the load combinations, how to extract the reactions, losses, moving load critical positions, and we will generate the design calculation sheet as per uh, Eurocode, and we will also see how to use report generator in Midas Civil that can incorporate the inputs as well as the outputs of your project. So without any further delay, let us go ahead now with our today's session, the session three for the analysis results extraction and high quality optimized design report generator. Okay, so the first thing we will do is uh, we will see how load combinations can be generated as per Eurocode and how to extract the results. This is definitely uh, going to be easy because we have automations and there are various ways in which we can generate the results. When it comes to auto load combinations, uh, we can see over here there are several standards available and today we are looking at Eurocode. So when you open the results tab, you'll see the load combinations. That's the first thing you do before you go ahead, look at the results. So uh, definitely uh, you are interested in the load combination output and especially the envelopes. So what program has uh, given us is the information about load factors that are applicable for permanent pre-stress and settlement types of loads. And also depending on the traffic loads, there are certain factors which the program would consider while generating the load combinations. The program will generate strength as well as serviceability load combinations. You can also manually create your own load combinations. You can put them into Excel sheets and import the Excel sheet, or you can make a text file of your manually created load combinations and use them in Midas Civil with the help of MCT file. So the, uh, it's actually very easy and I would be demonstrating on how to do that. And when it comes to result extraction, uh, we can generate the results in the form of deformed contours. And uh, also we can generate animations, save them into a, a WMB format. And uh, further, you can also see the diagrams. For example, you need the diagrams for stress checks and bending moments and shear force diagrams. So those diagrams can be generated in the program very easily. And uh, you also uh, can generate graphs, especially the uh, beam girder graphs or rather the bridge girder graphs can be uh, used very efficiently for generating a project report. And these graphs are created by default in the program. So there is a small procedure to do that, which will be demonstrated. The program is also capable of generating the results in the form of tables that can be exported directly to an Excel sheet. These tables can be also converted into graphs. So it's not like you have to stick to a single type of a graph, but you can generate your own graph using the tables available in Midas Civil. So that is about the result extraction. Now I'd like to go ahead to Midas Civil and 
demonstrate on how to generate the load com combinations automatically as per the load uh, as per euro code and see how to extract the results Okay, uh, sorry for the delay. There was some small issue with the internet. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, we have our uh, PSC bridge over here uh, and uh, for generating load combinations automatically, we can go to the results tab and then we will go to the load combinations. And from here in the general tab, you can generate load combinations with automatic um, uh, envelopes. But if you want to use your load combinations for the design purpose, then you have to use the concrete design tab and generate the load combinations. The generation of load combinations is very easy. You can uh, simply go to auto generate and then you can select over here the euro code zero. And after that, uh, you can select the manipulation of construction stage load cases like the SD plus CS and then the load factors can be also applied and then you click on OK, that is it. So very quickly, we were able to generate the strength and serviceability load combinations. We can see the description of the load combinations that were automatically generated. The information, I mean, the factors applied for the load combinations is also seen over here. So this is about the factors for this particular load combination, we'll see the load cases and their factors respectively. So this is about uh, the load combinations. Uh, and please note over here, because here we have an advantage that the moving loads, that is a live load, is automatically considered. No need to convert the moving load into a static load to use them into load combinations. The most critical output for the moving load will be utilized in the output generated by the program use, using the load combinations. Pre-stress is also available. Wind loads are also considered. Then uh, the dead loads are also uh, considered from the construction sequence and the time dependent effects are also considered. Along with that, there are tendon secondary, tendon primary also uh, that, uh, that is considered by the program as per your code. So uh, also we can Note that uh, the program is capable of using the uh, response spectrum loads as well. But uh, for that, you can definitely go ahead and uh, use RSX, RSY from these uh, load case lists. So this is about the concrete design. And for the envelope generation, we go to the general tab and generate the load combinations just the way we did right now. That is it. So here we have the envelopes for strength and serviceability conditions. All right, now let's go ahead and see how to extract the different ways of uh, result formations. So after the load combinations, uh, we will go to the output. So for the output, let me open an already analyzed model file. So here I'll open this one.
All right. So uh, this is our analyzed model file. We have our load combinations with us over here. And now let's take a look at the output. So we can get the output like reactions over here. So this is about the reaction due to pre-stress or we can get, get the reactions due to load combinations as well. You can turn on the values and see them on our screen. Let's change the unit system that can be modified at any point of time. This is in the post-construction stage, but if you want to see the results stage-wise, then you can actually go to different stages and check the results. So this is information on the screen. You can look at the displacement contour as well. You can see it separately for the dead loads with a deformed shape. In the values, you can turn on min max only to see the maximum value. You can turn on the legend as well, and you can have fixed type of values to uh, easily understand what is the uh, value in the or of the contour of the color codes. So this is about uh, the deformed shape. You can also animate this deformation. If you click on record, the animation will begin. And you can save this animation into a .avi file format or, and then further you can convert into WMV file format. So yes, uh, we have animation, we have deformation. Let's close this from here and we will move to uh, the next output that is the diagrams. So you can actually go to the forces beam diagrams and you can check uh, the di beam diagrams for any of the load uh, cases. Summation is the summation of the dead loads, pre-stress loads and any other load that has been assigned. So you'll click on apply, un uncheck the uh, deformed shape and uh, we will use kilonewton meter for our bending moment diagram. Now we are able to see the bending moment diagram uh, based on relative values. So to see the results only of few members, for example, if you're interested only in the peer cap, then you can go ahead and activate the peer cap only. So like this, you can activate and check the results only for the peer cap. Then uh, further, you can go ahead, activate only a girder or girders in the same, uh, in two spans like this and activate them. So you can see the results. This is a summation result for the bending moment diagram of our girder at the end. You can check the results at every step and uh, at every part as well. So you can check separately for the girder. You can check separately for the deck. So this is about how to check the beam diagrams in the program. Similarly, you can check stress diagrams. So here we go, we get part one, part two stresses, and we can tell the program to give us the output for the top or for the bottom. So this is about, uh, let's say for example, I mean to make it a little bit clear, uh, I'll go with the dead load itself on the last stage, last step, and let us take a look. So the stresses that we are able to see right now are combined stresses. And uh, uh, based on the values, we can understand if the, uh, if the nature of our girder is uh, in compression or in tension. So definitely at the bottom, we would be getting tension and positive value in Midas Civil indicates tensile force. So there is tension developed at the bottom of our girder. And accordingly, part two at the top, we are able to see compressive values. So this is how you can generate the uh, diagrams. These are the stress diagrams. And you can always take these uh, results into your Word file format. So to, to take these outputs, to take these diagrams in the Word file format, you can simply right click and say dynamic report image. And you can call this as stress diagram. So like this, you can take the outputs in the uh, diagram format. Also the deformed shape. So let me just activate and quickly take an image of that deformed shape. So like this, we can go ahead, change the unit system and view even current step output can be generated. Uh, that is only when we have activated that information in the construction stage analysis control. 
So anyway, let's go ahead and take the uh, take this image of the deformed shapes. You can actually take it anyhow as you please and right click and say dynamic report image and deformed shape. So this information which we are right now right clicking and giving a name is registered under the report tree menu. So you can see here there is a stress diagram. If you double click, it will take you over there and there is a deformed shape. So this is how easily you can get to different diagrams as well, different outputs as well. Okay, so this was about the deformed shape in stress diagram. Let's take a look at how to generate graphs. So there is a bridge girder diagram which generates graphs and for that you can actually go to the um, into the pre-processing mode and create one group. So you can select one single girder and put it under one single group. And after that is done, no need to re-perform the analysis. Just go to the post-processing mode. Once you're in the post-processing mode, you can go to the bridge girder diagram tool and use a stage. So I will go for a stage because this is a staged output. So you go to a stage and you can turn on the options uh, between the steps, first step or last step of your stage, what result you would like to take a look at and what is the output, like the forces. So when it comes to PSC girder, we will, uh, composite girder, we will get forces and we can ask the program to put the distance or we can put up node values over there. Distance is easier. So this is the load group, uh, sorry, structure group that we had uh, used to assign for a single girder. And then we have the components right over here. So this will be for current step, or you can actually get the results for the last step too. So for last step of each stage. So like this you can do, and you can save this graph as well at any location. So right now, let me quickly generate the current stage step graph. Here we have the graph for the, uh, this is for the dead load last step. And you can actually e export this graph into a text file. And this text file will have the information uh, in the like table format like this. And this you can further put it into an Excel sheet. So this is about the graph generation, which can also be uh, saved as an image and uh, you can put it into uh, uh, put it in under certain uh, images folder and you can put this images folder into the image files actually it's supposed to be image files folder so let me just quickly go to the same location where I have um, created the file. So here is session image files it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is the image files and I have saved my model file in session one folder. So here I'll just paste it. So now right click and say add image files then you have your bitmap file right over here and there we go so this is how you can add different different image files in the report uh, tree menu and use it to create your uh, report in the word file format so we saw about the uh, uh, about how to generate graphs uh, for using the bridge girder diagram then uh, let us take a look at how to generate tables. So after the analysis is done generated, you can go to the result tables and go for reactions or any other outputs that you please. So I'll go ahead with reactions right now. Let's take a look at the summation output for all the uh, nodes, uh, for all the support locations. And just uh, the last stage results, or I would like to see the results for every stage, uh, last step of every stage. So like this, we can generate a table and we can further right click on it and export it to a table, dynamic report table. 
So here I'll just simply uh, click on dynamic report table. And if I'm not interested into any of these columns, like if I'm not interested into the moments, so I can turn off those moments and generate information only for uh, even the steps and the stages, if, let's say I'm not interested. So only the node load and the uh, FX, FY, FZ values will be visible in my table that I will, I'm generating. So as you can un, uh, see over here, there is a lot of control in the outputs that uh, that are generated by the program and extracting them has a lot of control as well. So we have uh, the tables and uh, we have all the information in the report tree menu. We, we can also just quickly generate one dynamic report image of this uh, simple bridge. So this is a bridge that we have, PSC bridge, like this. So this PSC bridge will be our cover page. So like this, we can go ahead and generate more and more outputs. Right, so now let's go ahead and see further output results like the determination of pre-stress loss and the critical vehicle position. So first of all, we already saw the reactions at every stage. Uh, that is at stage one, we can see that it was 1679. And then in the stage two, of course, with the addition of girders, dive ramps and uh, wet concrete load, there was a load, a reaction of um, 5600 uh, 5, almost. And after that, uh, in stage three, when we have our tech activated, the, uh, then we get our, uh, our reaction increase to 7,600 at the uh, peer bottom support. And finally, because of the long-term effect and the bar barriers and varying course loads, we have a higher, uh, a little bit higher reaction of 8,000 kilonewton. So the, this is how we can see the reactions at every stage. Now let's uh, get to the pre-stress loss results. So Midas Civil actually is capable of generating short-term, long-term losses. And for that purpose, we had provided tendon properties. So according to the tendon properties, the profile of the tendon and also the time-dependent properties and the stages, we can get the outputs for the losses, pre-stress losses. So, First one we would uh, see is the tendon loss graph, which is generated right from here. So you go to tendon loss graph and you can select any of the tendons. One good part is you can see the result losses, results for each and every tendon. So you can see for stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, likewise, you can see the final forces. And you can also go with different steps as well and generate animation for every step. So there is not much loss as such, but still there is some which we can further check in the form of text. You can even convert it into an image format. So if I want to use it, use this output in my report, then I'll simply go ahead and uh, put it under my image files. So pre-stress loss is what I'll name it and save it. So this was about the pre-stress loss in the graph format. You can also go to the result tables, tendon, and generate the tendon elongation, tendon arrangement positions, and there is a tendon loss table. So here you see the information. Let's change the unit system to Newton mm for smaller values. So here there is stress after immediate loss. This is about elastic deformation loss. And then further, you can uh, also see the creep shrinkage long-term losses and the relaxation loss. You also get information about the ratio of stress after all loss upon stress after immediate loss. So this is about how much uh, the long-term losses are causing as compared to the short-term losses. And the effective number, so how much, uh, how much of, how many of the uh, tendons are effective? So two tendons are effective. And here we can also go to different stages and check how the losses are increasing. So for every stage, every step, we can get to see the uh, tendon losses. So this is in the form of stresses. You can also get the tendon loss and forces. If we right click, 
we can get back to the tendon time dependent loss graph. And here we have the right click option to export our output into Excel file format. So this is about how to extract the results for the tendon losses. Let's go ahead now and check the results for the moving loads. So for the moving loads, after we perform the moving load analysis with, uh, with certain number of lanes and using Euro codes, we can go to the moving tracer to find the most critical position of the, uh, uh, of the moving load vehicle. So if I want to see that, okay, for certain, uh, let's go to the post processing for that purpose. So for uh, out of all lanes, that's what I want to check the key nodes. So I want to know that, okay, for at this particular location for this particular reaction uh, to get maximum reaction, where should my vehicle be? So I click here on this node and I ask the program to tell me the most critical reaction and I will click on apply. Okay, so this is Three eighty seven. Let me just check about that. Okay, we have critical position right over here. Yes, so for the critical position, uh, we, of course, the, we needed MV max instead of MV min because MV min will not show us any vehicle as such. But uh, yes, let's take a look at uh, the output over here. We get the influence line diagrams and we also get the position of our vehicle. So this is the load value that we are able to see and we are able to see the location as well. So for this particular position, we can take a look at the results. All right, so that is about the uh, output for the reactions. Let's take a look at displacements. So displacements MV min for any position. Let's take a look at that. So for this node number one, uh, I can get to see the location, the position of my vehicle. And uh, I can simply go ahead, right click and say dynamic report image. Now, usually uh, in practice, what we do is uh, we go to the deformation results, displacement contour, and uh, for most uh, negative result, uh, we find out which is the node number. So here we have the node number uh, one, uh, 387 and 150. So uh, the the maximum is 150 node number. Let us undisplay the values. Okay, so 150 node number 150 is giving maximum downward displacement. So we will go to the moving tracer displacements and input value of 150 here. That's the key node number and then click on apply. Now this is uh, giving us the most critical uh, position of the uh, vehicle causing highest deformation in our bridge. This we can export into a dynamic report image. Okay, so this is done. Now let us move ahead to the next part. Uh, that is the generation of design reports in the Excel file format. So we will go to the PSC design tab and here we will select Eurocode 
we have uh, British standard also. Let's select Eurocode. Then we will select the parameters where we will consider all the tendons and have strands as the pre-stressing steel type. We will see the output for all the shear resistance and bending resistance and torsional resistance too. And also we will perform serviceability checks. After that, we will uh, select the material property assigned to our PSC girder and we will provide it the information about the uh, uh, the grade of reinforcement. So here we are selecting the main and sub rebar reinforcement. Then we specify what is the concrete material property used for our uh, deck and for the deck as well we can provide the grade of our reinforcements. So longitudinal and transverse reinforcement data is what we can provide. After this is done, we will tell the program that we want to perform the design of all the girders or some of the girders. So to quickly perform the analysis of some of the girders, let us activate a girder right now. Uh, let me initialize this first. So here I'll go ahead and uh, select one element uh, for which I want to generate the output, uh, generate the design and the output. So I'll select the design position and output position. Then the serviceability load combinations are automatically put under the quasi-permanent frequent and characteristic type. Accordingly, the deflection checks and the uh, crack width checks and all those will be performed by the program. Then short-term, long-term load, load cases also can be specified, uh, put up over here. So you can actually uh, put up all that information and then for uh, the exposure class, you can again go ahead, select and assign certain exposure class for the crack width check. Then the shear connectors. So shear connectors between the uh, deck and the BSE uh, uh, composite, steel composite, especially it is uh, useful for uh, steel composite. And uh, in case of uh, PSE composite as well, you can specify uh, what is the connection between your girder and the deck. So you can uh, talk about the um, angle and how much area of reinforcement is going to be utilized. So if I have uh, two numbers and uh, the uh, two numbers in the lateral direction, and if I have, uh, let's say per meter, I have five numbers of longitudinal uh, uh, shear connectors. So this is what I will do and what is the grade of my shear connector. So this is what I'll do and I'll select the same and apply. After this is done, I'll click on perform design. So the design is getting performed. The more number of load combinations, the more time it will take, of course, because it is going to generate the information for each and every load combination. Then we can take out the results in the form of tables. So here we get the information uh, if it's okay or not good this is for my uh, pending check flexure check you can also get for the flag uh, shear check so it's all okay for shear as well and then there is combined shear and torsion check there is information for tensile stress check for pre-stressing tendons this is also available in the program and then there is a stress check at cross cross sections too. So we have all the information in the table format and this information can be further exported into a dynamic report table. Now, if you want to generate the results in the Excel file format, simply click on Excel report. So now the program is starting uh, how to uh, starting the generation of the uh, design report in the Excel file format. We will also take a look at how to generate a comprehensive report in the Word file format with results and the design results are coming already. We can also take the uh, design results from these tables. So once, uh, basically, once you're done with uh, generating all the information uh, in the report tree menu, 
then you can simply go to the tools tab and click on dynamic report generator you can open your already created model file uh, sorry word file where you have your headers and photos of your company or you can open an altogether new document microsoft word will open inside my civil itself okay so here we go uh, we have the design report generated by the program it's a detailed design report for element number 13 where you see the input data you see the reinforcement data uh, you can also see over here uh, all the information related to the material uh, the tendon information to the area and also the location then further there is a capacity check for the positive moment and um, further there is capacity check it says okay or not good and then there is negative moment check note that there are formulas provided to you so that you can always refer to the code provisions and also understand the detailed report generally uh, detailed report of your design better so this is about uh, the moment check then there is a shear check for maximum shear force so it's all okay uh, minimum shear force so that is all okay too then there is torsional resistance note that you can see the uh, reference clause references everywhere in the program so that is about uh, the shear force checks and then there would be some serviceability checks too torsional check is also there yes so here we go for the serviceability checks there is a stress check uh, there is during the transfer during the construction stage there is a stress check there is a stress check for service load combination like after the load uh, after the construction stages this is for both the ends of the element that was selected you get summary output in the same excel file format that is bending resistance summary result then shear resistance summary result total resistance and tendon stress so this is the excel file format generated by the program and uh, when it comes to the word file format as i said that we can generate a report in microsoft word within the program so what you can do is simply go to the report and drag and drop your information so here we have the psc bridge you can put this as a cover page and then you can go ahead inform inform about the analysis results even the loads that you have applied on the bridge can be converted into such kind of image and you can just put them by using the draw, drag and drop feature so first let's take a look at the moving load results so this is the position critical position for the moving loads then uh, let's take a look at the bending uh, not the bending moments let's take a look at the deformed shape so i have changed the unit system to mm to get the output likewise so there is our uh, the output in the uh, millimeters then i'll get back to uh, the newton mm and then i'll just drag and drop the stress diagram over here so i have my stress diagram also so this is it uh, this is about the images uh, from the output now let's also drag and drop the image about the analysis graph result so like this as well as the tabulated result now the tables that are generated in the program uh, have text uh, they are all text so you can always highlight them or change their font size and everything so this is about the uh, application of reactions now coming to the design you have certain design outputs so these design outputs in the table format can be further um, exported into into the uh, excel into the uh, sorry this would mean results table so this can be further uh, put into a dynamic report table and uh, this will be call it as design results so you have your design result with you now you can put this design result into the report editor so you go here and you can make a new page design results and you can simply drag and drop the design results table over here 
So this is your flexural design result. And uh, inputs, well, inputs are already right over here, like the section properties and all. You can always put those in that, put all of this information uh, by simply that using the drag and drop feature. As this is a Word document, you have complete control on how to edit it or any manipulation that you wish to do in your project reports. So this was about how to generate a comprehensive analysis and design report in Midas Civil. I'd like to summarize our today's last training session. Uh, today we saw that uh, in the, we can have result interpretation in four different formats. Like uh, we firstly saw the form shapes, animations, then we saw the bending moment diagrams, shear force diagrams, that is a diagram format. And the third one was about the graphs and the fourth one was about tables. Then uh, we saw how automatic load combinations as per Eurocode can be generated, including the post construction and during the construction results. So that was about load combinations. Coming to the moving loads, so instead of manually understanding where the critical position should be, the program generates it for you. So the moving load output is giving you a critical position of vehicle loading. Next, uh, you can get the pre-stress losses. So no need to manually calculate the losses and then apply to the pretension uh, to the tendons. Just simply apply the jacking force and get the losses generated by the program. Uh, the outputs that are generated by the program could be exported into Excel sheet and uh, also there is a design report uh, in the summary and detail file format uh, uh, in, that is automatically created in an Excel sheet. We also saw lastly how to use a report maker in which we can combine all the analysis and design results, input as well as output. So this is about what we saw um, today. That means how to uh, generate uh, the load combinations and extract the results and generate reports, high quality reports uh, with the help of Midas Civil for a PSC bridge. That is it from my side. Thank you very much everyone for uh, waiting on a little longer to understand how Midas Civil could be a useful tool for your day-to-day PSC -day bridge design practice. So uh, that is it. In case of any questions, please uh, write to me at nivedita.midasit.com. Uh, for license inquiries, you can um, email to pankaj at midasit.com. And uh, for our users, uh, please do share your queries on globalsupport.midasuser.com so that we can get back to you within 24 to 48 working hours. Yes, uh, PSC, we have a question about the reinforcement arrangement for the design. Uh, yes, we, we need to specify the reinforcements. Uh, we had seen actually the application of reinforcement on the first day, on the first session. So here is the reinforcements. Uh, you can always take a look over here. This is the reinforcement arrangement that was provided by us and the program will use these reinforcements to perform design check. All right then, um, I have all your questions with me as I mentioned last time yesterday itself that we would be sending you email with all the questions combined and answers along with these questions. So hope you enjoyed the training sessions uh, that we conducted. These were short training sessions and uh, uh, I believe uh, we could cover the major part of the advantages offered by Midas Civil to create a PSC bridge. So let's uh, see you all again. Uh, we can have individual trainings as well in case required. Uh, this session is recorded. We will send you the recording of all the three sessions together. And uh, yes, in case of any license inquiries, again, as I mentioned, you can uh, tell to Mr. Pankaj, who would be definitely giving you a call for the feedback. And uh, yes, after today's session as well, I would request you all to please share your uh, feedback by rating the technical sessions that we have conducted uh, for today. Uh, yes, all the sessions were recorded, so we would be sending you those session recordings too, along with uh, in an email, through an email itself. All right then, uh, thank you very much everyone for attending today's session and hope to see you all again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.